Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdo. So we are learning about the host listeners and also the host binding. So I will try to show you with a simple example. So how we can implement this host list host listeners and also host binding. So we have already seen the basic thing. For example, let's say that this class hovered is there, right? So we will try to change it uh, dynamically uh, through the uh, through the host listeners. So mouse center and the mouse we will try to implement it. Now for this one to implement, what we need to do is so first we will uh, uh, do some basic uh, styling for that one. So here I will be writing hover uh, click that component dot CSS. So here in this one for the host element. So here I will be writing for the host element and I will give display of block. Okay. And I will give padding of 10 pixel and text align I will make it as a center. So maybe hopefully this has to be implemented. So now it has become center. Okay. And now when I want to implement this hover thing, okay, I want to change the background color to light blue or anything. So whichever it may be. So now if I try to apply this one as true, okay, so that means the class should be applied. Now we should be able to see the hover. Oh, sorry. Or otherwise we can write something like host, which is having of hover. Okay, so for the host element which is having over. Let's try to see whether it can. So now we are able to see this blue color, right? Now what we need to do, so when we enter, when we mouse is entered, so then the hover class should be applied or when we move it outside that then the host hover class should be removed. So this is a scenario which we need to implement. So right now for the basic thing at the starting, this is false. So here we can write another scenarios like host listener. So host listener which is on mouse enter. Okay. So I will be rating the mouse enter. So now we need to implement the host listener. So that is nothing but on uh, mouse enter. So here I will be writing this mouse enter. Okay. On mouse enter. We will be writing like this on mouse enter. Now on mouse enter what we will try to do. So we will make dash this dot is over to true. Okay. Now if you try to see this one. So now by default, this one is uh, why it is. Uh, yeah. Now when we hover, so this is, this has been changed to blue color, but when we leave it, when the mouse is so leaving, then this hover, you need to make it as a false. So then that means at the rest host listener. And now we will be writing mouse leave. Okay. And here I can write on mouse leave. So on mouse leave, then I can make this dot is hover is equal to false. That's it. Now let's try to see here. See when I am mouse hovering and when I am removing the mouse over. So automatically, so that class is being applied and the class has been removed. So this is how normally we will be applying in the, uh, what I want to say is, uh, so here you'll be able to see the class is applying and removing. So this is how normally we will apply, apply using the host binding and the host listeners. So in this component host binding is used to toggle the hovered class. When the mouse enters and leaves the element host listeners is used to listen for mouse enter leave and also the click events we have see we have written the three things we have written it now what we need to do is so here what i want to tell is now what i want to tell is so instead of using this host binding and also this host listener decorators you can achieve the similar functionality by using the host property in the component decorator. So the host property in the components metadata is a way to declare host listeners and host bindings directly within the decorator. So let's try to modify this example to use the host property for setting up the mouse event listeners and also the class bindings. So now, so let's open this over click dot component dot ts file and update it using the host property. Now let's try to update it. For example, let's say that. So here we are having these other things, right? Now we can implement the same thing using a host property, which I am trying to explain. So this is our host property. And here we need to mention it like this. And here what first one, what did you are having? So we are having a class dot hover. So if this one is a dynamic one. So that is the reason I am keeping the square bracket so that it will take the is hover class. Okay. So this one will be taken as a variable. Now the another one which I want to implement is the mouse enter. Okay, mouse enter, mouse. Enter. So in this mouse enter, which method we need to call 
on move center so this is the method we need to call and we need to call this bracket and the last one is mouse leu okay so here you can write it like mouse leu and here also you can use something like on mouse leu okay and the last one which i want to tell is the click event okay this click event also we can use it now here i will use the same click event and here i will use on click that's it so now we have implemented the host thing so now there is no need for us to implement this host binding and all the things we can remove this literally, literally we can remove this all the things so there is no need for us so just these are just properties and also a methods that's it so now what we have did it whatever the host bindings host listeners are there so here we have attached it at the top in the component decorator only host class dot hover is equal to is hover we are calling it mouse center on mouse center we will be calling mostly on mostly click and on click so these are all directly we have used it now if you try to implement the same scenario if i refresh this page we will be able to achieve the same scenario see but instead of this one we have implemented using the host property so now this is the standard this is the recommended approach to implement the so this is the recommended approach we will be implementing so in this version of this component we have moved the logic for binding and listening to the events into the host property of the component decorator so these are all things the class dot hover key is used to bind the hover class to the is hover property the other keys like mouse enter mouse leave and uh, the click are used to listen for mouse events and call the respective methods so this is how we will be implementing and also what i what i have told you i have already told you right these are all is the recommended way okay so these are all is the uh, recommended way always prefer using the host property over the host binding and host listener these decorators exist exclusively for backwards compatibility the angular uh, 17 documentation itself has implemented it one so the another one which i want to tell you before closing of this one is the binding collisions for example let's say that i am having here uh, role okay so here you will be having presentation let's implement so i am having here role is equal to presentation now if you try to see here role presentation is a static one now if you inspect the element here for this one you will be able to see that role is equal to presentation is there let's assume that in our app component is for the host itself i am having a role is equal to group okay now which one will take so here we are, we are having a binding collision which one will take it is taking it as a group okay now if you are having this one as a dynamic one for example let's say that uh, uh, this one is an id okay uh, other id is equal to okay uh, hi leela or anything so this is an id okay so this one is a dynamic one and here i will implement like this id and for this one other id okay so this is the id which we are trying to implement it now if you try to see here for this one so hi leela id has been applied to this so fine it's correct but when we are having a collision then it, these are dynamic one so what will happen so here in our app component.ts we have a title angular basics now let's try to implement apply that one to directly here id is equal to title i have applied directly now which one will be applied hi leela or angular basics if you try to see here the component instance is being taken as the highest priority hi leela is getting applied now if i remove this one id directly in this one now angular basics id will be applied to here now if you try to see here and here id angular basics has been applied so like this the the collisions will be there so binding collisions so we cannot predict it uh, actually so make sure that uh, the uh, the binding collisions will not be there so if both are dynamic also we have seen it if one is static also we have seen it both are static also we have seen it so like that we can you can uh, apply the combinations and you can check it so one thing you need to apply you, you, you need to understand is binding collisions in angular can occur when you have conflicting bindings in the host property so this situation can lead to unpredictable behavior as angular tries to reconcile the different instructions for the same property or the event so that is one thing okay so <clears throat> so that's it guys about this uh, host element and all the things hope you understood about the concept so what i will do is i will commit this one in a new branch that is 12 hyphen video okay and this is host property for host elements host property in component now if you want to refer this code or anything means so you i will be providing the github repository url in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you